the word education comes from the word educo. And he says it's derived from the Latin word educo, meaning to induce, to draw out, or to develop from within. An educated person is not necessarily one who has an abundance of general or specialized knowledge. An educated person is one who has so developed the faculties of their mind that they may acquire anything they want or its equivalent without violating the rights of others. I'm in the States right now, and oftentimes when I go traveling like this, my YouTube channel becomes quite bleak. But I, I just wanted to make this quick video so that this habit of mine stops happening, <laughs> okay? Not the habit of me traveling, but the habit of me not posting regular content to this YouTube channel. I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind recently. I often do that. I often only talk about what I'm dealing with. And that's, that's, that's pretty cool because something's coming up soon. Uh, fingers crossed. But anyway, so what I wanted to talk about was the specific alterations that can happen to one's psyche when setting the right intention, okay? The specific alterations that can happen when somebody sets the right intention in the correct way. There's a specific way that you're supposed to actually set intentions which have a profound effect on one's psychology. Now, right now, you're, you're pretty well adversed with your psyche, right? Maybe you have a voice in your head that tells you what you can or cannot do. Or maybe you have a positive voice in your head that tells you what you can do and what is safe for you to say in certain situations and then what is safe for you to do, what, what is safe for you to act upon in certain situations. Here's the thing, those thoughts literally contribute towards your thinking process throughout the week, day, month, or year. And so the thing is, is that your thoughts are behaving that way, those regular conversations that you have with yourself that dictate how you approach and arrive to life, those thoughts are all held in place by your belief systems. You might have specific insecurities which make you believe what you're capable of achieving in life. And so because of your own insecurities, you, the middleman, that then dictates how this thought, the negative thought in your head is going to be speaking to you. In the same way that you might believe that you're quite confident, well, that will also dictate how the confident voice will start speaking to you. When you change your beliefs with the utmost certainty, all of a sudden, your psyche, these two parts of yourself, will literally change how they're communicating to you to encourage you into uh, something else that you otherwise would have thought completely incapable of doing. So the reason why I say this is because I want you guys to try something else so that you better understand not only how I came about this state of awareness, this little change that happens during intentions, but so that you guys can actually understand it from a more personal level. I want you to spend a week with one intention to be a better person. This isn't a video of me trying to influence everyone in society to be better, even though it's in, technically this will be a video like that. But honestly, what's driving uh, my energy in, into making this video is the fact that I want to see your faces when you realize <laughs> how your mind's changing because you've just made one intention. It's huge. One intention. I want to be a better person. It's that clear. Logically, it's that clear. I want to be a better person. And throughout the next seven days, just go about your day. What will happen is, is this voice in your head will be like, hey, you probably shouldn't do that because that's not what a good person would do, or that's not what a good person would say. The other voices in your head will also start to change their tone in order to help you become self-aware of the fact that maybe you have more flaws than you otherwise were aware of. And so that one simple intention can have you experience a week's worth of brain activity, conscious reflection, awareness spurts within your day in and day out life, which will actually help you come to terms with who you are as a person, 
Okay, it might not be pretty, but that's fine. You need to be made aware of your flaws in order to then fix them. Now, I want to make a little bit more sense before I close down as to how to set more of these intentions for yourself in a specific way so that you can then change out the intention and spend the second week changing your personality or, or changing your relationships in your life. Because this also helps with, with the relationships. If you say to yourself, regardless of all the crap in our relationship, regardless of everything that's not working, I want this relationship to work. And you say that to yourself, okay, with no doubts. You can't have any doubts in your head. You can't have any disbelief that it's going to work. You have to be 100% certain on what you're doing, okay, on what you want to happen. You see, clarity is key. Not emotional clarity, because emotions can be conflicted and kind of messy. When people say, just will it into existence when it comes to manifestation, you're doing it with all of your emotions, but your emotions are all messy because a lot of people haven't gotten into the practice of self self actualization. They haven't become very self aware of their own emotions and states and, and how they'll have different emotions set up within their body that could be bleeding into each other. You know, maybe they're still hungry because they didn't pay attention to the pizza they were eating yesterday. They're watching TV and now they still want to eat pizza. So that emotion is here. Or they had a very tough conversation uh, a couple of weeks ago and that emotion is still here, that anxiety. Or maybe they just didn't want to get out of bed this morning and so that emotion is here. And now they're trying to manifest things within their reality and they're, they're putting their emotions towards that idea but they're also bringing up everything else, you know? And it kind of clouds their intention. So when I say set intentions, I don't want you guys to really encourage the emotional side of setting intentions because in my life, undefined emotions lead to train wrecks, okay? I mean logically, and there's nothing wrong with being logical. Being logical refines your emotions. Have a clear understanding on what you want. I want this relationship to be perfect and I don't want it to be any other way, period, okay? I'm in charge of this and I want it to be perfect. I don't care about anything else, anything that may have happened within the past, I want it to be a certain way. When you say that, your mind, these different aspects of yourself will give you the antidote to your relationships. It will tell you exactly what to say and what not to say in order to mend issues within your relationships. And then all of a sudden you're living your ideal life, okay? So clarity is key when it comes to certainty. Okay, you have to be certain that it's going to happen. Even if you don't know how right now, it's fine. Be clear on what you want. And have the confidence that, you know, your mind is going to give you things that you might not know right now. And that you're going to be able to execute those, those things in the near future in order to fix your relationships or in order to, to make more money or to become a better person or to become better at a business, whatever it is that you're doing to be better within your family life also, whatever it is, if you set the clear intention and deny everything else that might, that might contradict that, step forward into that clear intention and you honestly believe in it so you have the confidence that you can bring about the change that you want to see in your life then what will happen is, is that your mind will literally change how it's communicating to you in order to give you the solutions towards your conversations, okay? Uh, with, within the people that you allow within your space and within any other area of life that you might want positive change to happen in. And so I'm Ryan JC, Ryan James Crawford. This has been your potential. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. I'm you know, pretty happy that I managed to get out this video because it has been two weeks. I'm going to try to release more content within the life that I'm doing. You know what? No, I'm, I'm going to release more content. I'm going to be more socially active, actually, when it comes to social media. And I have been doing that recently because that was one of the intentions that I had been putting forth recently. And I have actually had a, 
a flood of ideas as to how I can do that. And I've been doing that recently over the past few days. Okay. So uh, try it out. A better person for seven days. Just, I want to be a better person for seven days, even noticing I know that I'm kind of shitty in some areas of my, of my being, you know, I have these personality flaws. I'm going to just ignore that for a while and just try to be a better person for a week. And honestly, step into that and see what will happen. I'm Ryan JC again. I'll speak to you pretty soon. Check out my website, ryancrobber.com for life coaching advice, if you wish. Peace. An educated person is the one that knows how to go and get what they want out of life.